Hi, Lacrimous families. Mrs. Mueller here with just a quick overview of what you'll read in this end of December and January leopard update. I'll push out another leopard update for January, but I wanted to share and give you some heads up with what's coming up for this week as we wrap up December and also into January. I want to start first and just thank our community for all of your contributions for Stuff the Bus. We collected over 2,600 items that went right back to our community. So thank you families for your generosity and your support for our families. Now our fifth graders, they ended up collecting the most items and they got to join our CHS leadership cheerleaders and brass band with stuffing the U-Haul. It was a fun time by all. So you'll see a couple pictures there. I was busy with them, so I didn't get as many pictures as I hope, but you'll see some pictures right there. Then this week, we have some things for all of our community. Our classrooms have some special projects going on. I've seen um, all the way from gingerbread houses that they're constructing and doing math with fractions. Also some marshmallows with toothpicks and having to hold weight. So doing some problem solving with their scientific problem solving and lots of crafts and art projects that are going on as we're wrapping up this month and heading into our holidays. So on Thursday, the 16th, we are doing a festive sweater day. So if your child has a festive sweater that they would like to wear on Thursday, have them wear it that day. And then on Friday, we're doing another comfy, cozy day. What a better way to come into our winter break than to come in your pajamas or something comfortable and cozy and we're gonna have our sing-along. Mrs. LaValle has been working hard with our kids to sing some favorite songs this time of year, and we'll be coming together in person. This is our first time where we've been able to bring our kids together for an assembly in person. Now, we are doing it by grade level. So our first, our kindergarten and first graders will get to come together. We have to maintain our spacing. They'll be wearing their special three-ply masks for singing, but we're gonna get to come together with kindergarten first, and then our second and third will get to come together, and then our fourth and fifth will get to come together for our sing-along. And our pals, well, they're bringing hot cocoa back to the classroom for the kids to enjoy. What a fun way to kick off our winter break. Now, when we come back in January, our character trait is perseverance. And we are combining it with compassion and caring from this month and perseverance. And we're doing a very special project for one of our own families here, Mrs. Norgard's grandson. He is all the way in a special hospital. He was a very premature baby that has some um, very big challenges in life and is just persevering here through just for life. And they are collecting for the Ronald McDonald house, which her son is able to be in that house and have that help take care of them while they're going through this with their child. And they're collecting the tabs on cans. Now, Mrs. L Mrs. Um, Norgard will have a special video that she's already shared one with all of the kids, but she'll share with the families too. And so we are encouraging all those pull tabs that are on pop cans or they're on soup cans, save those. Let's start saving over winter break. So when we come back, we are going to have a collection of those pull tabs and we'll have special little containers that we'll talk about more, but there's something that you can help out with over break. Also for break, we really encourage you to read with your kids. Reading is so important. And so spend some great time reading to your child, but also having your child read to you. Play some great games that help to encourage them with reading. And then practice those math facts. When we come back, we are going to have a family or a parent reading night. We've been learning as a staff more about uh, the science of reading. And so at the end of January, Mr. Lustig, who is our reading coach for teachers and myself, will be hosting a parent night to share with you about the science of reading and give you some tips and tools to help support your reader at home. Those are some things to look forward to. This week, we have several activities. So Lacamas families, I wanna wish you happy holidays. We're excited about our winter break. I think I need one here. And I just hope that it is a 
great time for you and your family just to come together, spend some great time as a family, and we'll see you in the new year.